One wheel. There are tons of people who still want to try this skateboard at least once. This electric skateboard was manufactured by the American company Future Motion, making its debut in 2013, right when One Wheel also kicked off. This mode of transportation was not only playful and portable, but also stood out when compared to similar options like Segway or Hoverboard. Upon its launch, users began to love it. But at the same time, some tragic scenarios happened that led its prospects to ponder twice before buying it. And recently, in September 2023, all models of one-wheel self-balancing electric skateboards were recalled by the US Consumer Product Safety Commission. So what actually happened to one-wheel? Are there any business tactics from its rivals or any technical errors in the devices themselves? We will know them a bit later. The mind behind One Wheel, Kyle Dorkson was born in 1987. When he was a kid, he was a science whiz and even won a big science fair in Canada. For graduation, he attended Stanford University, but he didn't just pick one thing to study. Kyle combined computer science, electrical engineering, and biology into a degree he called neuroengineering. That's where the mastermind was born. Kyle used to be the CTO of Kymatix Research, and he also spent eight years designing consumer and technical products at IDEO, a global design and innovation firm. He started working on his dream electric ride in 2005. After years of tinkering and multiple engineering degrees from Stanford, he brought his brainchild to life in 2013 when his company Future Motion was also born. The first one wheel hit the streets and people went crazy for it. In fact, a Kickstarter campaign on One Wheel in 2013 raised a whopping $630,000 that surpassed all expectations. But how does this magical wheel work? It's all about how your body moves. Lean forward to speed up, lean back to slow down. Easy peasy. It's like surfing or snowboarding on the road. And you can do it on various surfaces like forest paths, grass, or the beach. Over the years, Future Motion introduced four one-wheel models. The Original, the Plus, the XR, and the Pint. The XR and Pint are the only ones still around for us regular folks. The XR is the big brother, with a longer range and bigger foot pads, while the Pint is the lighter, more portable sibling. But here's where the plot thickens. One Wheel kept evolving. In 2018, they launched the One Wheel Plus XR boasting a doubled electric range of 12 to 18 miles for its new battery system. This flagship ride became a tool for stress-free transportation. It allowed riders to travel farther without worry. The top speed remained at 19 miles per hour, and riders controlled it by leaning, no remote needed. With LED lights for nighttime adventures and a cool app for tweaking settings and sharing rides, One Wheel plus XR became a sensation. To prove its worth, a team of riders attempted a 300-mile relay from Palm Springs to Las Vegas, showcasing the board's capability for big adventures. Sure, the One Wheel Plus XR wasn't the cheapest ride on the block at $17.99, but it was one of a kind. And so, the One Wheel story continued, with people making the best choice after experiencing the joy of riding both boards. According to Zion Market Research, the global one-wheel electric scooter market size was worth around USD 168.6 million in 2022 and is predicted to grow to around USD 323.8 million by 2030, with a compound annual growth rate of roughly 8.5% between 2023 and 2030. So the industry of one-wheel as a whole was booming. However, as the popularity of the products grew, so did concerns about safety. The US watchdog, Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, raised a red flag and urged riders to slam the brakes on their one-wheel journey. They announced the recall of 300,000 one-wheel self-balancing electric skateboards. Why? Well, there had been reports of not just injuries, but tragic deaths. Between 2019 and 2021, at least four riders suffered fatal brain trauma after being ejected from their one-wheel skateboards. Nearly a year ago, the CPSC was adamant that riders should stop using any and all one-wheel electric skateboard models from Future Motion immediately. The reported incidents included serious injuries like concussions, paralysis, fractures, and ligament damage, 
often occurring when the product failed to balance the rider or suddenly stopped while in motion. Future Motion, however, didn't take this sitting down. They fired back, vehemently disagreeing with the CPSC's claims. According to the company, riders were encouraged to educate themselves on safety, and they stressed that the overwhelming majority of riders used the board safely. They argued that riding in one wheel was akin to choosing to ride an ATV or motorcycle, knowing the risks and taking proper precautions. Despite Future Motion's resistance, the CPSC stood its ground, issuing a safety recall for all one-wheel electric skateboards. This came after a year of back and forth, with Future Motion initially objecting to the CPSC's calls for a recall. Now, one-wheel owners are facing a dilemma. The CPSC warned against using the original one-wheel and one-wheel plus, suggesting early adopters to stop using and discard these models. For the newer One Wheel GT, One Wheel Pint X, One Wheel Pint, and One Wheel Plus XR, the remedy was a software update with a new warning system. Future Motion claimed its own investigation found no evidence of underlying technical issues causing the reported deaths and injuries. However, they decided to move forward with the voluntary recall, asking owners to stop using their One Wheels until they took appropriate action. As the story unfolded, the one-wheel team promised a firmware update with a haptic buzz feedback feature for eligible models. This would alert riders when the vehicle entered an error state, was low on battery, or neared its limits and needed to slow down. Despite the controversy, the one-wheel journey continued, but they faced a challenging twist. They had to address a recall, a significant moment that required them to pause and consider their next steps. My uncle and my aunt asking me, you know, what on earth is happening, right? And um, basically what this is, is this is a, a firmware update that goes out to um, one wheel owners and enables their board to have this haptic buzz feature, which is an additional safety feature to push back, which is the main um, way in which one wheel riders know where the limits of the board is. The one wheel team emphasized that rider safety was their top priority, urging everyone to wear helmets and protective gear while riding the skateboards. To wrap it up, that's the whole story about One Wheel facing some tough times. They had to recall all their products and might even be heading towards a ban. Because till now, the Consumer Product Safety Commission of the USA hasn't given a permit to ride One Wheels because of the hazardous incidents. But Future Motion is trying to overcome the situation by solving technical errors if there are any. Primarily, their goal is to convince people to wear safety gear while riding their product. However, all around the world, riders, who were once all about the thrill, now wait to see what would happen next in the one-wheel tale. The story isn't just about skateboards. It's about the people who love that one wheel beneath their feet. It's a moment to pause, think, and wonder. What would the next part of the one-wheel adventure bring? What do you think about one wheels? Let us know in the comment section if you have any say.